The indigenous of Owa in Ondo State are trying to adjust to the aftermath of rainstorms that destroyed over 200 homes in the community. While some are counting their losses, others are trying to rebuild their damaged homes. Channel Television visited Owa town and captured the level of damage caused by the rainstorm. It ought to be early showers of blessings for our town in Ondo State. Instead, the year's first rain left a trail of destruction. Buildings, both residential and commercial, had their roofs blown away by the heavy rain storm. The residents are at their wit's end. My building had been, the south roof had been removed with, uh, by, during the rainstorm. Then I came down here and I saw the level of destruction and I was amazed. The storm's fury carried enough power to uproot trees and dump them on cars. Electricity poles were also not spared and it means the residents will also have to contend with power outage. It's an HT pole and that's what brings the lights to the uh, customer, and to this uh, transformer. So uh, all we are doing is just to see how we can bring in a uh, back the light by planting the poles. The raging rain may also have affected academic activities as it wreaked havoc on the Methodist High School's infrastructure. Backwaters is off, the technical section is completely off. Uh, GSS2 block is off and uh, even the, there's no block that is not touched by the wind. The people are risk. A lawmaker representing a war in the Ondo State House of Assembly promises to use his influence to ensure that the people get relief from the state government. I believe the government, Ondo State government, is a responsible government that always assists its citizens. And by the way, I'm sure that the people of our very soon the government will come to their aid. I mean, those people that were affected in this uh, rainstorm. If the rain in the middle of the dry season could prove so disastrous, it may just be an early warning signal of what to expect during the season itself.